Hey y'all, welcome to the video. It's Squaw Officer AK. As you say, see by the title and the thumbnail, it's moving day again. Uh, I have decided Outlaw Racing was not active like I was planning on it being for the last few weeks. That doesn't say I'm not going to make content on there anymore, but we have decided to move back to South Carolina. Uh, link to everything's in the description. Uh, Basically, you're going to see a lot of changes today, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it while the truck's, like, cooling off, because it's been kind of rolling. South Carolina Outlaws, not, not like, close. They're, it's about a good 12 hours. So, basically, what's changed is the gooseneck race trailer we had, sold it, so it's gone. I bought a, a gooseneck tilt trailer, because I wanted a tilt trailer, that's what I wanted. So that's what I got. Uh, 450 we, we kept. Uh, this is my buddy's trailer. He's letting me borrow it. Uh, we got the smart car, the open B mod, and a new truck in there. You might, you're going to like that truck. Uh, let's keep driving because I don't want to talk about it too much without showing you everything. Uh, the, seven, the, night, the 97 7 3 we had, the gray one. Uh, I gave that back to my grandpa. I was like, hey, you just take it. So I bought his Dually 7.3 had service body, and that's going to be the work truck for me. That is hooked up to our 38-foot bumper pull with the uh, cat backhoe on it. And as you see, I had most of the things delivered up here, and this is the last load we have. I'm just going to park it in the road, to be honest with you. But right here, we have the total home hooked up to the stacker with uh the audi and duct tape in there this is a new truck i don't think i showed it i might have y'all might have seen it in the background it got delivered right before i like a week or two before i decided to move we got the clap desk 10 you know the beater we did get this thing it is about to be running i have a little bit of more wires to do because 427 swapped it and it needed a little bit more wiring than the other motor did I got my skids here. I should have threw it up back there on the 7.3, but I just threw it on here. So that that is one of my work vehicles. Skids there in the back is all I got. I just clear land. I don't do anything. I was like, that is clear land. That's all I do. Here's my bubble truck, which is my dream build, basically. Uh, Grandpa 6.0, six not 6.7. 6.0 is what I decided to kind of and hire. I love the truck. So I decided, I was like, hey, you want to let me have it? He's like, yeah, just take it. And I traded the mud truck for this military kind of beast. Other than that, let's go ahead and show you the new shop first and we'll load everything. Uh, I do still have a few things being shipped, but this is kind of everything I'm going to have for now. I did order some lifts to get in here. Because, you know, that's what we were slacking on last shot. Yeah, nice little. Okay. That's going to get changed. Not saying I don't like it. Oh, there's a mountain lion. Oh, there's a mountain lion. Jesus. Hey, kitty kitty. The one thing I didn't have is my gun. I'm going to try and kill that thing when I get up. Get out of here. Come on, die. Die. You dead? Good. Alright. Alright, yeah. We'll just leave the cat down there. Let's go ahead. Like I, yeah, our show shop, as y'all know, it is a lot smaller. That's something we're going to have to figure out. This trailer won't be here, but as you notice, there is one enclosed trailer missing, but there's a multiple. There's one Pacific, which is a 28 foot. I'm not selling it. I am keeping it. It's just. I left it back at home. It's got I'm kind of getting all my house things. That's what I'm shoving everything into. I didn't want to shove it into the stacker because I planned on coming down here and doing some racing. So I need to have the stacker to haul multiple cars because my other trailer is not done yet. I, d I am having a trailer custom made perfectly fit two cars, maybe the smart cars, hopefully what I'm thinking. It's going to have my number. It's going to have 
He's trying to hook up a sponsor with VP. So hopefully that happens. I'll throw that on there. And my YouTube will be on there. Hopefully in the next video you'll be able to see that. But the surprise I've been keeping you from. I bought me a nice little uh, cat eye. Free runner. Truck is phenomenal, y'all. I love it. Little side exits. And she's street legal too, y'all. She's gonna sit outside mostly. Unless I have room in the shop, which I might. So let's go ahead and back this down here. We'll just park it outside for the time being. The B mod will go inside. Uh, I sold the late model. Um, sold the late model for a reason because I wanted to get an asphalt car. So it wasn't good at late model, so we're gonna try asphalt racing. Who knows? This car might be being sold too. I ain't I ain't really a dirt racer. We, we established that in the last video. Hey, just hit the rev limit, why don't we? Let the door open up. Uh, where do we want to shove it? We're going to shove it over here for now. Just to decide where it's not in the floor. So I won't be doing any dirt racing yet. Uh, there is a street race going on, I think, in three days, I think I saw. Which I'm trying to go to, so that's why I try to put that to the side, I guess is the best word. Get a smart car out. Yeah, but like I said, this is not my trailer, it's nobody's trailer. So you won't be you you might you might see it, because he might he might show up to the race here and there with that trailer, but this ain't his most trailer to use. So we'll park smart car outside too. We'll park it right here for the time being. We'll get everything organized in just a few. Uh, the bobcat's probably going to come off next as it's attached, isn't it? No? Yep. So, we'll just back that off. Cause I'm going to probably put the bobcat on there. And, unless I decide to take that I don't know, y'all. There's so many things going on in my mind with moving. Oh, I got moved. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, I think... I think we'll unload this trailer next just to get it out the way. Military truck. <laughs> Prime startup, y'all. So the mud so the mud car because I wanted this this thing is way cooler than that little car. Yes, we will be going to the mud park. Yes, if you are back in if you watch older videos of me, you yes. Sorry about the video, y'all. Trying to get speed. You seen last? Yes, you do know. I did have this at some point. I decided to buy it back. She's pretty dope. Let's go ahead and we'll get the 6 off. Get that prime unit off. I think she's a gooseneck. Yeah, gooseneck. Is there a bump switch? There is a hitch back. Ooh, little suspension hop there, baby. Oh. Try and probably keep most of the trucks outside until I get, like, most of my race car inside. That way I know what I have working with. But I'm trying to keep this a short video for y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out, everything else offloaded and put into a spot. And we will come back in just a second. All right, after a long two days. Yeah, it took me a whole two days. That was a lot of work. And it's not organized like I really want it. That trailer's still up there by the road. Cause I'm gonna take, my buddy's going to come get that. Or I might take it to him. I don't know. We haven't talked about it yet. The stack is right here. The gooseneck is going to be along this fence once it comes back. You know, I could run it over a time or two. Uh, this is actually my buddy's car. He went to go pick up that trailer I was talking about. Speaking of that, that trailer right there. Uh, junk truck, work truck, whatever you want to call it, like kind of beater. I want to go look at that in a second. This thing, hey, well, let me just finish on your shop. Got duct tape, tow home. The work truck is inside, plugged up, because I have decided to uh, left the key on. The Audi, uh, pre runner, open B mod, and the car. Uh, 427 Fairmont. Hello, Reaper. What up? I see you got my present there. Yep. 
I'm gonna go look up a present. But this is the trailer I was talking about towards the beginning of the video, y'all. Uh, they actually finished it surprisingly. I thought it wasn't gonna be in this video, but it is. Hey, I appreciate you going to get this. No problem. So here what we got. Looks like we got a few fuel rack, straps, hangers, some cool oh, not coolers, okay. Bam, welder, toolbox. She's perfect. Yeah, I man, she's she's perfect how I thought. I mean I don't know where I'm gonna put it over here yet, but eventually Yeah, no, look like you got much room. Well, eventually I'll buy a house and some of this stuff will go to the house, but I don't have a house at the moment. And I do have a million dollars to buy a house with. Because I did sell my other property back in out Outlaw City for uh, a good bit. But I need to find a house because that will go to the house. Some of this will go to the house and eventually we'll be good. If not, I will have a new shop built. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say otherwise. But I want to go ahead and get get you unhooked, and we will hook up to your trailer, and I will throw a car in that trailer, and we'll go to a race. How does that sound? Right. Yeah, sounds good. All right, y'all. But that race I was talking about you know, earlier in, earlier in the video. Yeah, well, that time's come now. We gotta kind of gotta go to that race. So we're gonna get loaded up. But I know the shop's a mess. Uh, I will get everything better organized and make a better video of it. This is kind of rushed. But we'll catch you in the next one. Later.